Hello. Um, we have a John Deere hydraulic pump that I'm rebuilding, about half of it. Uh, why I'm doing it? Because this seal on the front started leaking. Okay. Here is the part number for it. And it's a newer type. The difference is there is a spring inside this ring and there is not, no spring here. And it's got thicker, it's thicker build than here. So hopefully it's still a good seal. It feels pretty solid. More solid than this one, by the way. Maybe it's just better. We'll give it a shot. All right. Um, I'll be. I'll, I'm. I'm gonna try to be quick. Um, all right. Here's what I found. The pump was making noise. That's my first rebuild and the first pump. So I found out that it was giving me. Not, not like that, but John Deere owners, you, you all know what kind of noise this pump makes when it makes noise. Okay, so basically, I did a little bit of research and did a little bit of research on YouTube. Um, couldn't find much information on it. And seen a guy there, he was spinning bearings like this on the shaft. Pretty good video, I liked it. This is the old bearing that I took off, okay? Off of this shop, this is old bearing. This one didn't survive, but I, I took this one off. So this is the old bearing, and this is how, how it spins and how it sounds. Okay, all right. This is an old rise, bearing rise. Now, this is a brand new bearing. It does have a little bit of grease on it. Just a little. And it's like an old stock, so it's kind of... It's kind of sticky. So I didn't clean it or anything. But this is what... An old stock... I bought it off eBay of somebody, I don't know, probably some person that owed one or whatever. So here's how the new one behaves, okay, and sounds. I don't know if anybody will tell the difference, will notice anything. It does feel a little tighter when I do this, you know. It doesn't feel like it's going much back and forth, but here, for yourself. Alright, so that's brand new, okay? So the guy said he'll replace just those two, and he'll be done with it, and he said it will fix the problem. Never seen anything past that point. You know, any videos on it. Hopefully it worked out for him. Anyways, um, I took everything apart I took this shaft which is all brand new right here I'll, I'll, I'll get to it in a second I want to show you defective shaft um, those rings were here like that and the bearing was here on here okay then this guy was on like over and many many 36 of those pins here okay so here it is I think what is making noise in that pump is actually a worn out shaft see y'all see how how it's all worn out here. The needles have the same thing. Same kind of wear. Okay, so it's been pretty much nailing. It was loose too much and this is why when it goes on the pistons 
and moves it, it has, you know, little impacts. When, when there is too much play, it all starts pretty much hammering onto the shaft, onto the needles. Amazingly, the rise here is not all that worn out, but it has somewhere around here. I haven't measured it with micrometers or anything else like that. I know this part's been working for years and years and years. Awesome machine. Very nice machine. Oh, I just, it's, it's a tank. You know, they used to make them so good. I don't know about new ones, but I just love this thing. Anyways, I think anything that's made in USA back in the day is still working, you know. So I anything I would come across, I, I'll, I'll try to rebuild. You know, hopefully they still support it with parts. That would be absolutely awesome. Anyways, um, alright, here's the defect there and another defect here. As you all can see, brand new shaft, a used shaft, there is a groove. So, oh yeah, there is another very nice moment that I want you to all know. Not to go with eBay kits, I ordered one from eBay, that was a wrong kit. There is two different pumps, as far as I, as far as I know, of those kinds of those kinds of pumps you will see um, uh, different build different bearings and all but anyways on the new shaft here see all that all the grooves here they all came from where it's not supposed to be like that this is what it's supposed to be like it is a little thicker where the bearing sits a little thinner here so it can get to it so you don't have to press it you know and you know press it all the way through here so very good idea and um all this right here is is worn out by two parts that is sold as far as i know only by john deere okay so oh yeah and i'll show you what kit the number of the kit that is okay of course nobody paid me any money for it I was suffering finding everything I'm just trying to help someone out here that's the that's the key they will have all your I was you know playing with it already so I I got everything I'm gonna put on and stuff now that these two parts this one is like a Teflon type things and this rubber piece it's just like a square rubber piece it goes like that and into that thing weights half a ton anyways uh, into this in inside here there is there is like inside this bore I, I, I guess there is a groove like right under there and uh, like right here there is a groove so they recommend in the book so i bought the book for this thing too they recommend installing these two parts together and with petro pet petroleum jelly which is simple vaseline okay yeah so no one on ebay i was not able to find for days i i tried many different names for it and oh my god such good thing to pick up on english <laughs> to know english better but all the words i came across even out of the book they say it's a washer a and washer b okay uh in the book something like that but very close to what i just said i'm sorry i you know, but I remember washer A and washer B or seal A and seal B. Because of that, those two washers, which are critical for your front fluid, hydraulic fluid leakage, they go here into that groove in, in the housing, pump housing. And then um, 
a brand new seal goes on top. So basically I think what it does is lowering all the pressure that, that goes through here but it still goes through there hydraulic pressure then there is well I'll flip it over again then it goes into this port right here and that hole right here out of that hole it goes into here into that fitting and back into transmission so I believe this is how they got away with all you know with a problem of so so it works better okay so basically this seal doesn't have to suffer holding so much pressure and shaft is always spinning so why not you know it's just being oiled and whatever made out whatever liquid escaped from this seal just goes into this hole and if there is too much there is a seal that prevents it I mean this thing is a dinosaur and it was working man I abused it and it was working and you know for 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 an old machine like that I think it did a great job anyways um, I got a lot of respect for this thing so um, yeah enough about the kit now what else okay make sure in the book it says grab grab the piston like so press put it in a hole and if it wiggles too much time to replace it okay there is not really a specs on measurements how much it has to be and all that at least in that book I have anyways um, the pump was working fine on lifting and lowering and everything I had no complaints about that I would say it let let it be for now okay I, I think I, I've seen pumps that are worn inside like tremendously and this one is not even close to that much wear so and make sure all the pistons are going back to where they came out of every hole marked with the number and every nut marked with the number and this is how you will know that pistons belong to that bore that cylinder okay now I, I spoke to a dealers they said that you can't find this part this housing through a dealer but aftermarket makes them you could pick up one of those pumps for a thousand bucks I spent about three four hundred dollars you know for everything here um, and it was just I, it, I'm, I'm just having fun rebuilding it plus saving a little bit of money okay now there is 36 pins in here I placed I mark I marked it with a red marker and I counted exactly 36 pins and there is no play whatsoever okay like it, it there is just no play I can't my hands can't feel any play when I took it apart with with the old stuff there on with 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 the old bearings okay my god it was it was making if you're shaking if you're gonna shake it like it you're 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 gonna have you know little clunks going you know and they were very very similar to what i heard when this pump was on the tractor working it was just so much louder when it's being pushed by the engine you know and it's it's like you had earphones on and had to you know hear it through the earphones on the noise part so I believe those bearings and I say this before your shaft is gone completely before your race is gone completely those needles cost close to nothing I think those needles cost like a dollar something for a needle. I forgot what they were, but they, they don't cost much. Try to replace your needles and see if, if, if they're all going to be nice and tight. Maybe you don't have to replace the shaft and the rise, you know? So I didn't do that. I just replaced everything. My parts were worn out a lot. And one last part that I wanted to mention that's important. Um, when you put everything together, when you put this back plate on, there is washers in here. So make sure 
I will put it without valves, without, you know, all this stuff. I'll, I'll put them aside. Also, all the valves have to go into, you know, in, into its little home right here, you know? So, we're, 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 wherever they are out, this is where they gotta go back so they work properly, okay? Um, anyways, so I'm gonna remove this seal. I'm gonna, actually I may just keep it or, you know, the idea is um, when you're gonna put this back plate on with the shaft, you know, all your shaft is in, this back plate is on, uh, you bolt it down and the shaft has to go up and down. This is why I have this gauge here. So it has to go, you can move it up and down. You know, when everything is together, put together, and it has to be from one to uh, one thousand of an inch up to three. three. My God, I forgot. There is specs for that. Um, I remember in millimeters, it's point three. 0 0.03 to point zero no to point 0.13 millimeters and I think wow I'm so sorry I forgot anyways um if anybody don't have the access to um if 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 nobody has the access to to the specs if you all don't have a book i mean check your book it's good to read it and you know i'll you know um i'll i'll place it i'll place it in the in the comments before sorry i just forgot i i read it before the video and i forgot i'm sorry maybe I, i'm just having a little bit of stress or something i don't know but um don't forget because the the bearings are warming up and you don't want them to get stuck or wear out too quickly because of the heat we all know that when the steel heats up it expands a little and those parts do get hot especially when they're all new okay so yeah this is it I think um, there is nothing else of important that I have to say I'm replacing rises all rises and bearings together and um, make sure you lube it all up with Vaseline Make sure you keep it all aligned. Make sure you are doing a good job pressing it down. Take your time. Use all rise bearing to, um, you know, push on. Um, you know, check everything three, two, three times at least. Keep track and, you know, really take your time on those things because hydraulics are critical in, uh, in dust, in dimensions. Uh, in where you know all the aspects have to be really taken care of it's not like you're uh, just tying up your bearings on your you know trailer wheels or something okay by the way about that uh, if your shaft is okay sometimes I think you don't even have to replace one of the bearings I mean you will probably know when you took it apart a few times you will probably know how much wear it has if it doesn't have you know those dots on the inside like the old shaft I showed you all before then probably you could add up a washer and you can buy those washers on eBay and just add one or two washers just making sure that you don't have too much play in a shaft because if you got too much play on the shaft it will wear out your seals and everything else a lot faster as well so basically you gotta watch your machine and uh, good idea to watch your machine I'll, I'll be taking it all closer I, I think enough being said um, trying to keep this video short for you all and uh, so whoever likes it I hope it's help someone please uh, subscribe hit the like button hope it helps someone again and 
Good luck to you all on your projects. Stay safe. Bye-bye.